Here in Miami, it's the Duke Johnson Show. He is amazing. Here he goes, Duke Johnson to the sideline. The freshman is something special. Duke Johnson coming off one of the great freshman years for a running back in ACC history. Over 2,000 all-purpose yards. On the phone now with me, Manny Navarro, who covers the Hurricanes for the Miami Herald. Manny, how will Duke Johnson's role grow in year two? Well, obviously, Duke uh, had a phenomenal freshman season for the Hurricanes last year. As everybody knows, uh, the big difference uh, in his sophomore campaign is that uh, he's not going to have Mike James around to help him out. In terms of Duke's role, one thing you're going to definitely see him uh, do more this season is catch balls out of the back. So I think new offensive coordinator James Coley is really uh, looking for different ways to get the, the ball in Duke's hands. And I think using, utilizing him in the passing game is something you'll see more of. It will be interesting for sure to see if the Canes try to get him the ball. How many times a game? 20, 25, 30. Will be very interesting. Duke certainly a Heisman candidate. So is quarterback Stephen Morris. What are Al Golden and offensive coordinator James Coley asking him to do this year to take that next step forward? They want Steven to really show that leadership role uh, in terms of just taking this team over and making it his. And I think that's something he really accomplished this spring uh, and sort of being the guy that everybody relied on in the offense to know where they need to be. And he's done a great job with the receivers, uh, you know, throwing the ball deep, especially that's something James Coley has sort of stressed more this spring. And, uh, you know, Steven has a gun. Everybody knows how far he can throw the football. And uh, he loves to throw the ball deep and, uh, and you look at Steven in this office, I think everybody was worried when Patrick, uh, when the former coordinator left that uh, they were going to struggle. But it looks like in James Coley's offense with Duke Johnson and all the weapons that Steven Morris has around him, they're still going to score a whole lot of points. Yeah, Morris threw for 3,300 yards last year, was the team's offensive MVP. But what the Canes really need in 2013, right, Manny, is to improve the defense. 104th in the nation last year, allowing nearly 470 yards a game. Should the defense be improved this year, and by how much? Well, you know, that's going to be the big question heading into the season. Uh, obviously, uh, Mark Denofrio, the defensive coordinator, took a lot of heat last season for uh, how poorly the defense played. Of course, he's got a really young – he had a really young defense, played a whole lot of freshmen and sophomore. Uh, you know, and then this off season, he lost a few guys who were basically booted off the team at linebacker. I think that's going to be the key, ultimately, for Miami, is how those linebackers play, how good of a job they do uh, stopping the run. And then, of course, defensive tackle. Uh, one guy that's been injured uh, basically throughout his whole career is Curtis Porter, a uh, 6'1", 312-pound senior out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Curtis uh, is really the key to this defense. He's the best run stopper. And when he's healthy and in there, this defense plays a whole lot better. Uh, if he's around this season for 10, 12 games, uh, Miami then can improve drastically, I feel, on defense. Despite those defensive struggles, the Canes in 2012, one of the three teams to finish tied atop the Coastal Division standings, they will be a favorite to win the division this year. Manny Navarro from the Miami Herald. Thank you. Manny's Twitter handle, by the way, at Manny underscore Navarro. I'm Jeff Fischel. You're watching the ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday.